When you look at the, I mean, you're kind of one of those guys that, that for years people could always say, you know, ask Terry where the business is going to be <laughs> in five, ten years, and, and uh, you've been very accurate in the past, and so now it is time again. Or very lucky, possibly. <laughs> or very lucky, that's that's true, and I guess we'll find out now because the question is, it's a very different business nowadays, and I'm sure going out on the, the convention scene, that's that's probably pretty obvious to you, and where do you see wrestling in, in ten years? Is, is professional wrestling as we know it going to exist in ten years, or will it be something entirely different? I think, you know, is if, if, if our ROH can continue on, I think that they have a, a stab at it. I really do. And I think that they're kind of breaking ground all of the time and they're feeling of it wherever they, uh, wherever they go. You know, that it's, it's a groundbreaking group that, uh, and, and the people that have it seem to be willing to take the time to develop a, a bit more all of the time, you know. Uh, they've got some great kids in there. I mean, really great kids, you know. And uh, uh, I don't, you know, I, I really think that we have to look at uh, the Internet as the uh, future because of the expense of television. I think that we're going to look at more and more going to the Internet, everything, you know. Um, I'm not, you know, and, and really, I'll tell you the truth, it's harder for me to tell you where this world is going right now than it was five years ago it's uh it's you know it's fingering out uh you know you just it's not following any definite line but it's and it's all because of the internet and what has happened with that and the education of the younger people to it now that's going to make a big difference in in the business you know uh then you have the other MMA, UFC, you know, you have uh, your shoot fighting groups that, uh, man, they're, uh, they're doing an excellent job of promotion, a tremendous job of promotion, such a good job of promotion that they say, you know, this is, they better watch themselves uh, because it's easy to, to you know, say, you know, Sam Mushnick always believed in less is best, you know. And uh, even they have to watch out for over, you know, over emphasizing uh, certain matches and certain things and uh, certain things they do to and from the ring. You know, uh, wrestling started out in the early 1900s or whenever it did, it started out. Earlier than that, they always had read the wrestler that go around, and uh, even earlier than that, you know. But just the last hundred years, you know, as it went totally from being uh, being a shoot to totally being entertainment, and it was a long road. It, it was it wasn't a wrong long road, really, a road of about a hundred years, you know, that it evolved all of that way from one. To totally, you know, wrestling as I know it, and uh, now it's uh, what it is. It uh, where where were we along that road? You know, I'm not trying to say that I was a, a great wrestler, or I'm not trying to say that I could beat anybody up in the world. But it's it's really interesting when you start thinking about it. To where were you on the road to entertainment? You know, and I and I know that we were. Way down on the other end, but uh, now it's uh, you know total entertainment, and uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's the way it evolved, you know. But where do you evolve from the entertainment factor? You know, there's uh, it gets to an end because in a ring because you're limited because you know what's going to be the next thing a double backflip and disappear up your ass. That's uh. You know, that'd be a hell of a trick. But once the people see it, you know, it's pretty hard to do again, you know, uh, to top that, you know. And I think that that's uh, one thing that is a uh, difficulty. I think that they're doing maneuvers and moves, and I think that they're not... I, I, I can't really tell you how to develop that individual, but, uh, by golly, I can't think of a monster, you know, and 
I can't think of a monster killer up there. You know, you would you would talk to me recently, um, as actually when you you were looking at those the win loss records of the of all things the WWE wrestlers for last year, and it mm-hmm. kind of spurred something you were talking about. That you spurred me on that, Dave. You're the one that brought that up in that, in that deal because I would have never thought it, but I looked at it. I saw, you know, I saw that, and I thought, now who is the, you know, who is, who is the strong man here? Who is the guy that uh, has the champion's record? You know, uh, it was uh, almost evenly planed, you know. And uh, there was a difference, don't misunderstand me, but I mean, and, and I know that everybody has to lose, too. But I think that you have to make a, you know, not everybody can be a superstar. And I don't think that they think that everybody can, but uh, they need to look back at what they were doing 25 years ago. Vince McMahon Jr. was as great of a star maker as anybody was. And 25 years ago, we think about it, Dave, you and I can think about that time, you know, and uh, think about the guys that were on top then. Think about the Bruno San Martinos. There was nobody that was going to touch him, you know. And I think maybe they need to do that. I think that somebody needs to build a build an individual more than what they have. But that's all my own thoughts. And, uh, you know, I'm not sitting there looking at their books and looking at their numbers, but I, I'm just viewing as a fan anymore and uh, and probably not a very smart one at that. <laughs> When you mention when you mention not everyone can be a star, I think also some of the problem today is is they don't have confidence that almost anyone can be a star. It seems. Well, I think that uh, I think everybody can be a star in the world of wrestling, but I think that there can only be a few superstars, and I think you have to put your your money on your superstars. You know, and you know as. Uh, Triple H, he certainly was a superstar, and Vince has done it. I mean, my gosh, he's done it time and time again. And I, I watch him now, and I'm looking, and it's it's rather muddled, and I, I don't, I don't quite follow that. You know, I don't quite follow the muddling, muddling of the water. You know, the and uh, and it certainly is right now. You know, and I understand that he has a lot of injuries up there too, but. Uh, I think I think it's just, uh, and I think that he'll, you know, he he always does, man. And and don't ever forget this: he always bounces back, and he always bounces back in a great way. And uh, and again, my prediction is, it, it ain't over till it's over, and it certainly ain't over yet. And and I don't think it's going to be over for many many years. Uh, you know, people worry about him and. Uh, uh, him getting out of it, well, you know, and again, as I think that uh, Triple H is uh, is highly educated in the world of wrestling. I think he's got the highest degree that he can probably get. The guy knows what he's doing, you know, and uh, I would have no fear in throwing all of my eggs in his basket. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.